Good morning and welcome to Touch Base Daily. My name is Ron Foster and I'm touching base with you as I do every day during the week. With my And um, we have our Focus Friday with our weekly special guest friend, Chris Edwards. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Oh, Nothing, sir. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. It is Focus Friday. For those that are new, this is where we, we focus on accounts that encourage bless and inspire so i have several of them so I, if you guys have nothing i have it all <laughs> oh there was we, some, we're here for it <laughs> we have some interesting some interesting um instagram pages and some interesting youtube channels that i've stumbled across and i was like oh yeah these are great you know great things to share because they definitely fit the bill of encouraging or inspiring, teaching, encouraging, uh, all that stuff, and a blessing. I see in the building. Good morning, Chrissy. Chrissy says, good morning. Who else is in the building? Bryson's early. Look at Bryson. Bryson's in the house early. Yes, he is. He must have been hanging out with that Beyonce uh, new, uh, I said, the Taylor Swift. No, Taylor Swift. Swift. You Taylor mean the, Swift. <laughs> the, the two album drop, not two, just one, two. Two album drop. I'm yeah, sure he is. Surprise everyone. Surprise yeah, everyone. Says, he says it. It's happy Taylor Swift day. <laughs> Listen, I, there are only two people in the world right now that can do this type of thing and do it with the flair that they do. Beyonce and Taylor Swift. I mean, Taylor, everyone knew that she was dropping her album at midnight. It has, I think, the first album has 31 tracks, which is kind of mm. unheard of nowadays. 31 tracks. Yeah. And you I believe to, it's like 31 you, tracks. You used to only get, what, 11 or 10? Yeah. Well, yeah, around that. Back in but the then, day, you just get a dozen back in the day. Yeah. And then at 2 a.m., she surprised everyone and dropped another album with 13 tracks. Like, oh, my. Who goodness. does that? Like yeah, I said, Taylor Swift, only Beyonce and Taylor Swift can do those that. Those two are the they they rock it. I wonder do they have conversations? Oh, absolutely. They're the queens. They're they, the they, queens. They're admirers of each other's work and they mm -hmm. support each other as as much as social media and the internet would want them to be um enemies. They are great um admirers of each other's work. And I think they they just respect each other as women and people in the industry. Uh, I see Chrissy says, Cowboy Chris is in the house. Give you a little giddy up, to giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, go. Yes. Um, Bryson says, the tortured poets department is out right now. Uh, I'll know the album dropped at 2 a.m. with a surprise. <laughs> I know you were waiting, Bryson. Bryson is on every on top of everything. Everything entertainment. Mm. That's where he lives. That's where he thrives. And I see here also, um, Chrissy says, uh, Chris, uh, she said, I love the Beyonce and Taylor are crushing the game. Yes, I, Adrian's in the building. Yeah. Thank God it's <laughs> Friday. TGIF. Yes, it is beautiful. Uh, I like this kind of day. Today is an overcast day. Beautiful spring morning. It's cool. Got my walk in. I did three and a half miles today, and I also part of it was cycling. I should say it was mostly walking, but most uh, a third of it was cycling. So one mile uh, cycling, and the other miles we were walking. Okay. It was so good to be at the botanical garden again. So that's where I'll be every morning. Well, not every morning, but most it's, mornings. But most mornings. I mean, I have to change it up because you can't have people knowing your patterns. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have people knowing your your routines. Uh, Bright, yeah, Bryson says, yeah, I did. He he was there. He stayed up. He was waiting, waiting for the the launch of Taylor Swift. Um, yeah. So, guys, today's focus Friday. So, we're gonna end up talking about a lot of accounts. Uh, it. Could, I mean, again, the um, the whole basis of you know obviously there's lots in the news and we can go down the news and i mean if you guys have anything you want to talk about for the last you know in the next 15 minutes we can kind of like d dig into some news but I i'm trying to be uh i'm trying not to talk about trump <laughs> because that's what's in the news and well it, you don't have to talk about him you can just talk about the 
the things surrounding him and move on quickly. And that's, yeah. let's, just, let's just do that. The 12 jurors are seated. Yes. They have one good. alternate seated, and they're going to be seating their other five um, today. Hopefully, they won't lose anybody in the process. Mm-hmm. Um, and the trial is supposed to start on Monday. Boom. Trump done. Moving on. Yes, I'm curious. What is in the headlines that you guys want to talk about? That's a good. That's a good one. Uh, you know, I spent yesterday, uh, and I've been doing this every day. Oh, is my head looking good? Okay. Uh, I have spent the. I've been spending the evenings looking at um, Don Lemon's um, online YouTube new YouTube channel, mm-hmm. and I have. I have to say, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, one of the things I like to see is that. Uh, I'm like I want I want to tell Don I think you need Streamyard because <laughs> he's fumbling and moving around. But it made me feel good. It was like I know this sounds bad, but I said I said Don Lemon has been in the industry of journalism pretty much forever. Mm-hmm. And when you see someone that has been in the industry of being in front of people on camera and all that stuff. And you see that how he is in his natural element. And I was like, oh, Ron, you're not doing that bad. <laughs> I was like, because, you know, it, it is different, I'm sure. For, you know, he has a producer and he still has a producer. And uh, on his show that he has, uh, he has two parts to his show on during the day. Uh, the five o'clock is called uh, Lemon, Lemon Live at Five. So um, that is going over all the Trump news and all the all the stuff that's going on. So my first account that you may want to take a look at on Focus Friday is the Don Lemon account. It really is really cool. And uh, he has the audience participate, which I, I like that because that's what we do. This is how, you know, it's about you. It's not about Chris and I. We're here. You know, we facilitate. We We bring out some of the basics of some of the subjects, but it's all about... This is our water cool, our water cooler moment every day yeah. at eleven fifteen, and uh, Lisa just walked in the building. What's going on, Lisa? Lisa is hey. in the building. Good morning, and um, I see here. Chrissy says, she says, "Did you hear about the valedictorian from USC that is being denied giving her commencement speech? Why, Chrissy? Why? Why is it? I didn't hear about this." Uh, however, I did hear, and if you give us a little more information on that, we can talk about it, or you can share uh, what's going on. Oh, you you know, Chrissy, you're always welcome to come on, too. You're always welcome. Um, however, did you see the footage of the woman that was working for Uber? Yeah. And she is, she is sent to a home of an old white guy. Sorry, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> but he comes out the house with his his gun because he was being scammed. They both thought, were. Yeah, they both were being scammed. He thought she was part of the scamming outfit. And then he and she's and she's not even armed. But that's the part that was like, yo, dude, I mean, she's not armed. Yeah, but here, so here, here's my take on this because it, it's heartbreaking it's, and heart wrenching. It's you know, horrible. And so, what happened was someone called both of them. They mm. called the, um, the old man and told him that um, his, one of his family members, they needed to um, give money to um, release his family members. And someone was coming there to kill him, basically. Mm. So, and then they called her as an Uber driver saying to go to this house and pick up this person, but you have to come out the car. So ba- they basically, it's almost kind of like a swatting thing in a way where, um, for those that don't know what swatting is, is when people like online go and tell people that people are in danger or whatever. And they sent the police to your house, whatever. But they sent her there with the intention of her being hurt. And that's exactly what happened. You know, he's an older, older guy, you know, a senior citizen, fearing for his life, fearing for his family, thinking mm-hmm. that he's doing the right thing, trying to protect his home and protect his family. And, you know, when stuff like that goes on, you're in this heightened sense of awareness. Um, and, you know, you're not thinking straightly. And he shot and killed this innocent woman that had nothing to do with it and to be honest he had nothing to do with it they were both being scammed and being um used against one another and 
it's unfortunate that, mm. you know, he didn't take the time to stop for a minute and say, really, what's going on here? Just reacted in the moment and shot and killed this um this innocent woman. She had, you know, she's just an Uber driver. She's picking up, she thought she was picking up a fare. So it was yeah, horrible. It, it was I when I saw that footage, <clears throat> when I saw that news um yeah yesterday, I was like, I can't believe, I mean. Just horrible. Just yeah, I, it, it's horrible. And, and, and I, I, I'm teasing. I was teasing Trish. This is not because he's white. It's just because think about it, he's you're an old dude, you're an older man, and you think someone is coming to kill you, or someone has has sent you a you know some scam uh, uh, call. Even when the police got there, they got on the line with the person because they were you know he would that person they called him back. And then they then they let him know that they were the police, the sheriffs, and um, just horrible. Just a, a woman is gone today just because some bad player. It, you just can't believe it. But anyway, that's what that was definitely something yesterday that happened that was like shocking. Um, just blew my mind. It, it was just left me really speechless. And I'm very rarely speechless, but I was speechless. Yeah. Just I just looked at the TV and just what I think this happened on either Tuesday or Wednesday, actually. Mm. Um, but yeah, Lisa made a great point. I don't know if you see Lisa's comment up to kind of pin that up there or put it up there. Yeah. And the media is placing a giving the poor white elderly man narrative when the woman herself was 61. And all they said was an Uber driver. Yeah, yeah. It's the sad, uh, the, the sad case of the media, and yep. uh, and I don't know the uh, the the uh, the older man's um, mindset because hello, he could have dementia. He could have you, you don't. There's a there's a thousand things that could have been in wrong with the older white man that was came out of his house with a gun. It, it it may not have anything to do with her being black. It, we don't know. We just know that he came out. He and she's obviously she's saying no, no, no. You know, I and she's backing up, and then you know, he shoots her. Woo. Yeah. Anyway, it goes to show you today is precious. The day is precious. Uh, I see in here. Um, as our Focus Friday begins, because it is now 11.26, so we're going to start dive into that. Uh, also, just, just on the note, uh, it, Israel has uh, struck struck back to with uh, on Iranian territory, um, oh. not hitting their nuclear, well, something, they may think, they think it may be some other hardware that may be related to the nuclear as they build their nuclear um, abilities, capabilities. capabilities. And um, so keep an eye on what's going on there in the Middle East. Um, you definitely want to know what's happening there. That, if you don't think it affects you, it will affect you on all levels. Oil prices. Oil gas prices, prices. Gas prices. And when gas prices go up, product prices. Because a lot of plastics yeah. are made from what? Petroleum. So yeah. those prices and go up listen, as well. If you, if you think it's not affecting you, when um, I ran... Um, attacked Israel, was it a week ago, two weeks ago? Gas prices in the state of Delaware have already gone up almost 40 cents in one week. Yeah, yeah. It is Lisa like... Says, uh, sorry, back on the old subject, uh, the, the subject, uh, subject before. Stop giving him excuses. He is a killer. Yes, I agree with you. He is a killer. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, out of mind, probably. Yeah, Tish is probably out of mind. Anyway, also, uh, so back to F. Um, so if you have a Instagram or YouTube YouTube account that blesses you, inspires you, or encourages you, uh, make sure you put FF. Let me give you the example. This is what Gwendolyn did, and uh, and then we'll we'll get, bring it up on the board and we'll show it. Okay, you see that? She said FF Brian Tyler Cohen. That's my boy. I support his network, and uh, let me go in there now and check. We can do. I mean, that that should just come up on my screen easily because <laughs> I am a full support, uh, subscriber and all the other stuff to his work. Um, 
Let's see here. Hold on a second. And let me get out of this screen first. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just get to regular YouTube. Um, here we go, Brian. Yep, there he is. Brian has been doing such an amazing service to um to to us uh, to to we lay folks uh, laymen's that love um, news and what's going on on all these fronts. Fronts what's happening in. I'm going to just present this. Hold on a second. Here we go. Sharing the screen. Uh, there we go. And um, I just showed you just pretty much his page. Uh, if you go into his page there, uh, he covers so many topics. Uh, he also has, because he's he's become so good at what he does, uh, and he, this guy just it really, uh, his background, I don't believe is journalism. I don't believe he he's just someone that be, was passionate about what was going on in politics and what was going on. And his main reason is to get people to vote vote and stay engaged to the policies and the political arena of what's going on. Um, and so if you want to stay connected, uh, he, like I say, he's so good at what he does is that MSNBC signed him up, signed him on. So he is a correspondent. For, yeah. So he's a correspondent for MSNBC. I didn't know. That. Now he's a main staple on my um, feed only for YouTube, but I didn't yeah. realize he was on MSNBC also now. Yeah. He's on MSNBC. He is also oh, wow. on um, the gentleman, uh, la 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 la, that does all the um court cases. He's a the uh, uh used to be the um, let me see, it's, it's gonna, it should come up here on the screen if I scroll down because he 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 is he pairs up with so many folks. I mean, he's really done a good job. Uh, he's excellent, he's excellent, excellent. You want information, he does his homework. And um, okay, so he doesn't have all the pairings up here, but again, this is his page. It is worth listening to. This is someone I listen to every day. Uh, he is also <laughs> paired up with the gentleman who is in charge, who's working for voters' rights in America. That is holds all these. Um, that he's a lawyer. His law firm does nothing um, but go to the Supreme Court, have courts to the Supreme Court in judgments of some of the laws that are um, in the South or in the Republicans, um, gerrymandered um, uh, 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 areas and in, uh, in communities. And, uh, and they have gotten a lot of stuff reversed, reversed. And um, so that way we can have fair elections. So that he's on that front. Yeah. Go ahead, Chris. The, the nice thing about his page, especially a lot of what he puts out, it's um, when I say consumable, it's not like really long pieces. He does have some long pieces, but if you're just want to get on and get some information and jump back out, his page is a great thing for that. Most a lot of the stuff is like around the 10 minute mark or a little bit less where it's consumable. And then even like I love his shorts, like they're really concise and to the point. Mm -hmm. He has a great he he really helps me to learn how to use YouTube. I mean, I really he's one of my uh, leads of how I navigate social media from the YouTube and from all social media and and doing what we do here as in content creators. He is really good at what he does. Uh, he has two point seven million subscribers uh, that goes to show you how good he is at what he does. And um, yeah, if you want politics. You want to be educated. He, like I said, he he has even had the uh, he's because of. I mean, this is going to show you. He's an. I always like to use people like this. All he had was a vision. All he had was a vision to help people, to just make people aware. And this guy has now interviewed almost every famous leader that's connected to Washington D.C., a including the president. Now, how, I mean, that's awesome. I mean, I, I'm sure 10 years ago, he would have never saw this. And I hope yeah. that encourages you to say, you know what, let me just do what I love to do. And it usually helps. It usually starts with the 
foundation set of helping others. And that is what he does well. Thank you, um, G, for that one. That This is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Okay, if you have an a, a account that you want to share, put FF and then hit the account. And hit the account. Ah, Daya's in the building. Hey, Daya, what's going on? What's up? Daya, I love my Daya. She's a... Uh, She's amazing. She's got a lot of new things going on in her life. I won't leave. I'll leave it as that. <laughs> Some great things going on. Some great things going on. Uh, uh, G says, I believe someone knew him or knew her and set that up. Oh, oh you talk about the other guys of the situation. Um, not a mind problem. Got that. Got that. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Anyone else? Chris, do you have anyone? Do you have anything? I didn't get a chance to do my homework um, yesterday. Well, you know, you know, I'm going to give you this one because um, I love, I, I don't know if any of you folks follow Joy Reed. Mm, that's another good one. That is, am I, did I spell it right? Let me say, no. So here's the other thing, too. Um, this is, I think, a really good um, thing to know. So if you don't follow, like, some of these people that, um, like, the one the example is given right now, Joy Reid, on YouTube. Um, if you just like listening, sometimes you don't have the time to sit down and to actually watch a video. Try um, doing the podcast. Most of these, like, MSC, almost all the MSC, MSNBC shows are podcasts as well. And that's how I consume a lot of um that content from them is through um, listening on the podcast. Like she's a staple. She come, I get her every day. So I don't get a chance to watch at night. I wa I listen to it in the morning. Yeah. Joy Reed is incredible. And he is also focusing on project 2025. She at least, she mentions it every week. So uh, something that the GOP or the Heritage Society or anyone that's in that, you know, in that uh, Project 2025 um, circle, she is always, as things are unfolding, she's always sharing. And another thing is, you know, another reason is that, you know, she is, um, you know, she's one of the last standing Black anchors on MSNBC. And uh, there are a couple, you know, I mean, some people, you know, that they've gotten rid of a lot of cool people that were there. Um, but we, I, I love supporting her. She is a master in journalism. She is really good. Uh, oh, look at you guys with your um, suggestions today. Oh, I see the FFs and I see the suggestions. Nice. FF and say and hit the suggestions. Okay, there we go. So. Anyone else? How many of you guys look at um, uh, Joy Reid? Uh, do any of you follow her? Is this is this someone new on your radar that we're mentioning? Uh, how many of you follow Joy Reid? Felicia, Miss Fifi, she follows um, Joy Reid. Uh, again, like I said, excellent, excellent, excellent. And uh, and like Chris was saying, any of these on MSNBC. You can just go to your Amazon and go to your um your Alexa or Apple or or Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts and just say to it, play or, the latest of and it will automatically play it. Yeah, uh, I am any, um podcast software out there. Yeah, I I am Miss Reese. What's going on? Miss Reese's in the building. She follows Joy. And Chrissy says she follows Joy. Hellier follows Joy. Uh, Amparo says, I watch her occasionally in the evenings. Yes, I watch her every evening, every evening. She's my my go-to. You, if you, you want to know why I know what I know, it's because she's one of those people that I, I rely on for their journalism. Um, uh, Trish says, I, she says, love her and I, Ari. Yes, they're back-to-back. -back. Love Ari as well. <laughs> so, guys, if you, got, if you need some good news and some good journalism... Uh, Irie is also good because um, he comes from the news with a um, from a lawyer's. He's a um, I think he was a trial lawyer, and uh, he's so his basis is lawyer being a lawyer. Joy is a journalist. Irie is a lawyer, 
MSNBC yeah. really does have a great job, a great lineup on uh, each day. Really good. Okay. Any uh, any other ones? Okay. Well, Chris, you don't have one. No. So, guys, I mean, you've got quite a few in the field. Yep. So let me got. I got uh, here from those. Anthony. Uh, let, oh, let me go to Charlene first because Charlene's been. Charlene's got it worked out now. So Charlene knows what to do. She's got it worked out. We got to give props to Charlene. She is working it. She got it down. She got her FF. She got her at. And I do believe this is Instagram. So we're going to go to Instagram. And uh, let's look at Lisa C. Pick Z. Lisa C. Pick Z. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, pick oh C C A. There we A A. There was I'm missing that little A in there. Okay. Okay, what's going on? Oh, am I in the room? Yeah. No, I think you spelled it's it's I S A A. Oh, it's a oh my bad. It's not Lisa. Uh, there's not Lisa. It's an I. I see, I I got Lisa on the mind. <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Here we go. I it's oh it's Isaac. Duh. Yeah. Duh. Get your glasses adjusted, Ron. Whoa, whoa. This is my kind of I don't follow this person. Wow. Almost a million followers. Ah, look at that. Wildlife. You for those that don't know, I am very, very passionate about wildlife photography. Ooh. And there's something about photographing animals in the snow. Look at that. Look at that camera. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Lee. Uh, Charlene, thank you. Thank you for this one. What I do with accounts like this, accounts like these, they offer me a vacation without leaving my desk. Mm. I go on a vacation just going through their pages. Wow. Truly wildlife. This is all wildlife. Wow. Nice one. Thank you, Charlene. I'm following now. Okay, cool. Any other? Um, let me see. I see. Okay, got that. Nice. Ooh, that's a good one. Just love it. Ooh, some landscapes also. I gotta dive into this one. Yes. Ooh. Okay, this is gonna be one of my favorite little places to get away. Thank you. Thank you, Charlene. Uh, we also have, we have from Anthony Rowland. From Anthony Rowland, uh, my favorite motorsports photographer. Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Click off that. And here we go. Ballot. Vladimir. Oh, wow. Wow. His stuff is really good. Mm. Okay. Oh. Vladimir, let me get that right. M R R. He has about one hundred sixteen um, thousand followers. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. Yes, one hundred sixteen thousand yes. followers. Ooh, look at that third photo. Oh. Look at that. Mm. I always say, uh, um, and for those that I, I think you can all agree with me, for those that are into photography, sports photography is probably the most, ex I would say, most people will agree with me, I do believe, is the most expensive genres of all photography. And the, the lenses that are required for, yeah. sports, re for sports photography they cost thousands, sometimes yeah. tens of thousands yeah. for these lenses that they use. What we call a fast lens. Yes. You have to, and you have to have a really good... And the thing with sports photographers, 
you can't just show up with one um, camera. You have to have a minimum of two. And more than likely, these guys are walking around with four cameras because guess what? You don't have time to change a lens. Mm. You have to have cameras ready with different with all your lens options on them already, already powered on with your settings ready to go. And just, you're just flipping cameras and, and shooting different things. Mm. Um I mean, to be able to catch capture Formula One race cars when they're in motion doing over 100 miles an hour, you have to have a fast lens. I like these. I, I, I love the, um, the play on colors as yeah. almost like using them as a vignette. Yes. Look at that. Ooh, thank you, Anthony Rowland. Thank you. Ooh. He probably has a lot of car projects. Oh, let me go back. Let me just go back to something that I saw here. What I love about this page, too, is, you know, yes, he's a Formula One um, photographer, but when you look at the work, it really shows all of it. It's not just focused on, like, the car or the driver, but it's even like the um, the surrounding, the atmosphere of the event. Um, and then, like you said, he has a great play of lights. And cause if you look at the page, there's very, there's a, there's a distinct tonality with respect to color. Yes. Um, throughout his feed. And his, his colors are so rich. Yeah. He like, that's really, a great and look at, look at, look how this uh, gradient of how it moves from this bright gold and then it just gets d darker in the oranges and it's this warm colors all the way up until it gets to the black and then it re and then it g reverses itself again back to I mean if you just scroll yeah sorry yeah. I got in because well. yeah it's just if you just yeah the just scroll through that that set right there alone tells you a lot about what it is that he does and who he is and how he captures his images. I love this is what uh, Adrian mentioned about um, when we did our Tip Tuesday. Um, where should you have the sun? You notice that in his photography, the sun is in a lot of cases in front of him um, because he's trying to get these beautiful glares and these, um, you know, what, 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 what do we call these? Um, starbursts, starbursts and glares. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean the, and the and the lens flares as well. Yeah, the, the lens flares. Because when the sun like, comes you. into your, yeah, when the sun comes into that lens, you get those flares. And you see that a lot of um, movie makers try to get those type of lens flares in a, in their shots. They digitally put them in because it, there's something very um, I love lens flares. and disappealing about it. Yeah, there's something sexy about it. It's very sexy. The flares, it's just so, it just adds a little more drama. It gives you a little more, more dynamics. And I love how he uses all, I mean, he's really using his foreground so well. His foreground, like making you feel like you're behind the camera, making you feel like you're right there. Look at this shot. Yeah. Oh, this is good, right? This is truly inspirational. There's another I one. I love that the, one. The sun is in front one. of you. The sun is reflecting the the flare. Well, what that also do is sets up a really nice um, composition as far as like negative and positive space because the sky mm -hmm. becomes a positive space and then the the building um, becomes the negative space and you're trying to always look into that negative space to see what you can see. Mm -hmm. I always love a good silhouette. Okay, cool. We got that. This is, I can stay here all day, but I, I won't have to be respectful for everybody in here. So let's go to the next one. Woo, this is a good one. I am, I am going to, well, I'm going to have to put something here. Hold on a second. I got to bookmark this. I mean, it is going to and be. And he's a, he's a Canon ambassador. He's a Canon so he ambassador. Shoots can so he shoots for, with Canons. This photo right here is going to go into my, um, Saves. That's a nice one. I, That's I'm going nice to save one. it to my touch base dailies, and there we go. So we're, we're saved. I just now I know exactly where to go. Okay, next. We, anyone else with your um, suggestions? Thank you guys for those beautiful accounts. Um, 
<laughs> she is telling, she is saying to uh, Shirley, you, you know how they do. <laughs> you, you know they do sometimes or something like that. Okay, there we go. Wow, Rashawn with um, Vincent. She says, yes, that's everyone's saying the light is on. Um, Daya, is this a suggestion, Tuggle, or are you just responding to Tuggle? And I think you responded to Tuggle. Okay. And uh, I see here, good morning. I see all the good mornings. Uh, G says, ain't photography, ain't photography just expenses overall? Yes. However. There are levels to it. There are levels. And sports photography, the lenses that they use, like I said, the lens I've seen a lens for uh, for sports photography for fifteen thousand dollars one lens, yeah. And that's probably my, <coughs> that's on the average uh, um yeah that's, cost. I'm sure there are more because uh, there are more expensive ones out there. Yeah, and it's all about the f stops. It's all about the speed of the lens, and man, there's so much out there. Um, Anthony says on his page, he says. He shoots with uh, cinematic lenses. Ah, that's amazing in itself because they're manual focus. Whoa. And yes. That's probably what's getting a lot of the flares. And the, um, that's what gives the you those flares. Yes. Yeah. The 35 millimeter film lens is beautiful. Uh, I When I was at B&H, my last time at B&H, I took a, a, a inhale... <laughs> of <laughs> all those beautiful uh, film lenses. And I was like, ah, wow. And they and the, and the gentleman behind the counter just explained them to me. I knew, I knew very little about, I, I know very little about film lenses. Um, Hadrian says, bless you, Chris. I don't know why he says that, but he says, bless you, Chris. <laughs> well, I, thank you for that. Thank, thank you for the blessings, right? Yeah, um, I take all blessings. Uh, Trish says, Franz Lanting, um, local Santa Cruz photographer. Okay. Is this a suggestion? Remember, if you have a suggestion, put the FF in front so we know it's a suggestion. Uh, suggestion, love this page too. Oh, Daya has one, but she didn't put the FF. No. <laughs> Here we go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be up the day of today. No, I'm not. Okay. Let's look. What is it? Um, it's suggestion. Love this page. It is JC. JC. C. A. It's amazing how the glasses. Uh, my glasses are playing. Little tricks on me today. I should be wearing. It doesn't. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, another another photo. Oh, black and white. Mm. Um, Portuguese photographer based in uh, uh, Porto City. His website is there, and uh, oh, you know I'm going to end up following these people, so I'm going to have to follow. But let's go. Let's take a let's take a look. Now, I don't know how many of you have been to Europe. There is something beautiful about photographing the narrow streets of Europe. Mm. I love photographing in Europe, especially Spain. Spain is one of my favorite places. Look at that. And I am a sucker black and white it's so traditional it's so authentic it's so it there's there's a romance to a, a good black and white photo that you just cannot get from a color photograph like color for, color photographs gives you you know it gives you the sense of all right this is what it is but there's something to a black and white photo that just makes your imagination um just wander What's the, what's, what, what's the rule of thumb for we photographers is that color, you shoot in color for the aesthetics and you shoot in black and white for the soul. For the These soul of the subject. Let's keep 
he going? Look at that. Ooh, nice. That's beautiful. I love that one. The, Look the at this shadows. beautiful foreground. Look at this. Using this shadow as a beautiful foreground. Look at that leading line going straight to the subject. Look out. It's almost like the hourglass. It's almost an hourglass. Yeah. Look at that. The hourglass concept or composition. Look at that. Another one with using these arches. Oh, nice. Again, um, and I'm bringing up Adrian because Adrian brought this up uh, on in Tip Tuesday. So I just want to give you some not some some uh, share some photos that are doing the skill that I'm talking about. Is like you see the sun is coming in on the on their on her hair. You see all that beautiful rim. It's like a rim light on her hair, highlighting her hair because that sun is coming from in front, not from behind. So Dale also pointed out that he has this particular photographer has a color page. So if, and if you go to the top of his profile, it's there. Um, mm. It's the same name. If you click on it, it'll take you to the page that's color. So really, really good. And it just shows it shows both sides of him that he understands Ooh. um both. Look at this one with the birds. Ah, oh. this. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. There we go with that sunburst. Look at there we go. Flares. The flares. Ah. And again, I, I'm kind of keep bringing up because we did talk about this on Tip Tuesday. So, um, just bringing that up again. You see how the light, the sun is in front, facing you as this photographer. And you'll also see it um, again. These the sun is over here, facing inward. Just to give you just a little couple of tips, the sun is over here, facing inward. These are the sunlight is all. You see it all. These are all sunlight is in front. Let's not say it's just the rule of thumb, but it yeah. is one strategy. Okay, I was gonna say those streets remind me of Venice. Ah, uh, Europe is beautiful. Yeah. It is a beautiful place. Okay, so, so you said before, let's go to the you, color. You, yeah, go to the top of his page and you'll see it in his profile. Um, okay. it, Hold on, pop out of there. And, and he's be, the and he, yeah, there you go. And then he's very selective about how he uses the color in the photos. Uh, is this his um? Uh, Wait, no, that's no, back. that's not the right thing. Go, go back. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. So. It's oh, here it is. The, Color. Um, there it is. I yeah, see it. Yeah. Uh, uh, He's very selective colors. as far as what colors he allows to come through. Yes. He, look at those beautiful um, ambient colors. Excuse me. Mm. Notice also a lot of his photos have fog. You mm -hmm. notice that fog uh, element to his photos? At atmosphere. Let me tell you something. People think that, oh, the best time to go shoot something is when it's on a bright, clear um, day. No. You want clouds in the sky. You want some fog. You want you some want rain. Some, you, you want some mist. You want atmosphere. You want mood. That's the type of photo that I love to see. Like, this is, this is my genre. I love this stuff. Uh, it's very romantic. Yeah. Look at that. Just. I always say the best time to go out is on cloudy days or days with the elements are at working in your behalf. So, Adrian, to answer your question, he asks, um, is that shot in black and white or edited later? So more than likely, this is all shot in color and then stripped down to um, black and white. And then um, you can go back in and mask in the colors that you want. So, for instance, for this particular case, that's probably what he's doing. Mm hmm. Look at the uh, you, look at the ISO level on this one. The ISO level is pretty high. You can see the um, noise when you can tell when ISOs are high because of the noise yeah. in the picture. But but sometimes I'm, you want that. You want that because it gives you that that graininess gives you that um, film quality. It gives you that film cap quality. It also gives you an, the sense of an old camera, like you yes. know, like you like you shot in the nineteen sixties or the seventies. 
Yeah. Really cool stuff. Oh, I like his page. He's very now- he's very intentional about all the um posts that he's made and the the photos that um he um highlights. And they all That's have the gorgeous. same Yeah, they all have Go the back same one. Theme. Go back one. That yeah, is look gorgeous. That. And again, look the at those in leading silhouette. lines. Yeah. The silhouette. Look at that. Just love it. I love it. Cool. JC Cabral. Okay, I'm going to have to follow the color page as well. Okay. Oh, I'm, oh you can follow. Okay, you, got, you can do both. Yeah, make sure you follow both. I got to follow he has both. a great page. Good. This is a beauty. Beauty. Thank you. Thank you, Daya. And he, he has, uh, well, something. did he have more? In, oh, I was already in following this white page. So I was already following this page. I did not know about the black and white page. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was already following him. And his black and white page is actually more popular than his color page. Mm, interesting. Well, I love it. Okay, what, what else? What time? Look at it. I'm gonna look at the time. Get the time in there. Yeah, you got about five more minutes. Five okay. more minutes. Okay, probably do, Thank do so one Adrian, more. We got Adrian's question, so that was good. We got that. And okay, we have Derek has a um one and Darius Williams on YouTube. Okay, let's check that out on Darius Williams. Going back to YouTube, putting these babies in there. And um Okay. Oh, let me just put in there. Sorry, my bad. I meant to put the uh, the the at. Okay. Let's see if it goes there. I think we got it all in there. I think I got it. I think I got it in there. Okay. Here we go. Will they take us there? I think this. No, is this? Is he a chef? I think he's a chef. I think so. It says Darius Williams cooks. This must be it. I think it is. It's the first one. I think the one I found. I don't know if the one I found is the right one either. Um, which one you got, Chris? Well, this one, it takes me to um, at Darius Cooks 2. Um, Derek, is this, an, is this a, a, a chef's page? Is this the right one, D? Mr. D, um, I see food here. I see there's a couple of these. I have, something, I have something different than you have, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll put his name in. Let's see if that happens. Um, I don't know. Oh, Derek, is this it? Derek says yes. So is this okay. guy... Um, let me just... Let me see if I can... I don't want to get in trouble, so I'll... Um, let me put the mute on. Well, just pause it. And, well, just pause it and then go to, and click on his main page. Yeah, I'm trying to get to there. There we go. Cooking with D? Is this as a woman? Yeah, I, that's not who I have. Yeah, because uh, that's not D- Darius Williams. Okay. Um, gonna figure this one out real quick. Okay, let me go back. Maybe if we just put in Darius Williams, home, maybe that's because that is not working. That. Here, wrong. I'm gonna put this in my. I'm gonna put this in in the um our private chat. This is okay. Whoops. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on one second. Mm Mm-hmm. Copy link. Oh, Darius Cooks. All right, try that one. Okay, let's try that. Click on the one I just sent you. This is who I have. There we go. Okay, thank yeah, you. That's who I have. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And uh, Darius Cooks. Here we go. Okay, so I did have it right. Yeah, you had it right, sir. 
Yeah, okay. Ooh, food. Lord knows. <laughs> Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> I just did my cleanse this week and got myself reset. No more meat. No more. No more meat for me. And um, I love food too much. I love I love food. his tagline. Food is my life. Life is my food. Mm. Okay, so this is something we want. I will definitely be looking at. Don't torture yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I should only be looking at vegan chefs. <laughs> I need to look at vegan chefs. That's about it. That will that, that will solve my problem. Um, great. Okay. Excellent. So we got Darius in. What time is it? Okay, it's twelve oh six. And Charles, um, Sophia, start I think we got everyone. Up. I think we got everyone. I Can think I, so. I'm I think looking. we got everyone. Okay, I'm going to share one more. That is a um, Instagram account that I stumbled across, and this is really to all the. If I can, let me just make sure I can get it up here first. Hold on a second, because you know, sometimes I'm I'm, I'm not the the best. Uh, at this little stuff. Okay, here we go. Where's my page? Here we go. My page there. Okay, now my saves. Saves and going to Focus Friday. Okay. So I came across this account. And it's called Squire. Now, what this is about is I did not, you know, obviously they, they has a community for everyone. But this is a this is a business community for barbershop and hairstylists, like people wow. that are into hair, and it's a whole business model and app and everything. Um, it is the most fascinating page. Um, there's a, it, it, some of these barbers. It, it, they tell their stories. They have their testimonies. Some of them are doing amazing um, projects in their community. Uh, I think it was this story right here um, where this barber right here, he takes care of autistic children because for parents with uh, kids who have autism, it's the hardest thing is to take them to the barbershop because they don't like to sit still or something will trigger them. And um, this is one of those sites that's pretty fascinating to me. Um, why is it, why won't this go down? Okay, there we trying to get rid. There we go. So there we go. Uh, and if you're a barber or you know someone that's a barber, check out Squire. It really is interesting. It's and again, they set up an app and a system for that they don't that barbershop folks, people that work in a barbershop, don't get stood up. I thought it was just photographers, but a lot of folks book for um, haircuts and then don't show up. And this is why um, a lot of people, when you um, book appointments, if you don't show up, they charge you a canceling fee because most times they will take your credit card information. So that's because what this app they're does. Because they're losing money. Yeah. Every time you cancel, that means you are not in the chair and the person that they could have had in is not in the chair. So... Right. Um, they created a whole system. It is I, it's founded by a black gentleman. Uh, he created this whole app-based platform community uh, for barber barbershop owners and hairstylists where they go in and you book through the app. And there is a fee. They get paid whether you show up or not because you pay up front. And um, so it's really awesome. good. It's a really good platform. This I thought was the most fast because there's so many barbers that do so much for the uh, community, uh, especially uh, in the black community. The bar I mean, obviously in all communities. Um, but I know that growing up and going to the when I used to go to the barber shop, <laughs> the you know that's where you hear all the, the news day. about what's going on in the neighborhood. That's where yeah. you find out what's going on. This is where all the men come to just talk. 
and let let you know let loose and let the hair down or get their hair cut off <laughs> but but it is so I a shout out to this squire um platform squire technologies I thought it was great I thought it was wonderful I think it has a beautiful business concept and um and we can pass it. if you know a barber you this this might help them this might be something to help them um continue their business okay i got my time check chris is letting me know let me up thank you chris okay <laughs> time check okay so that's good we got i got i think we got some accounts in here did we get some accounts yeah. did we I do focus we did friday today. right today yes we did Yes, yes. Um, Elsie's in the building. Hello, What's Elsie. Up, Elsie. Elsie is in the building. I would not know Chris if it wasn't for Elsie. Elsie is our mutual friend. And um, hey, Cass is in the building too. Cassandra Lewis is in the building. How are you, my dear? And um, so good, cool. Um, guys, uh, this is Friday. It's it. This is it. This is the end of the week. Uh, I also, for those that are on Instagram, I, I if you're still following me on Instagram, because still follow me on Instagram, I have a subscribers portion of my Instagram, which I will be adding more like store, like more to stories that I put in public, like the regular feed. I'll go into more depth in the subscribe. Okay, and uh, I got my little signal there, and uh, so guys, but also you can follow the repeat of this. On um, so um, indie suit uh, media media that's at today's at six o'clock. So on Fridays I'm at six. Um, the repeat is at six o'clock. And uh, you are the start I, to the Friday um, lineup. Um, I am the start to the lineup. Yeah. Uh, yep. Kimmy says my hairdressers uses a book uh, app as well. Similar. Okay, definitely get that in there. So um, I think we're good, Chris. Any um, last? You got something? One minute. Go for it, bro. Oh, just join me tonight, safe, safe Space at um, 8 p.m. My guest is going to be uh, Mr. Reginald Nash, those oh, also yes. known as Rex. So Rex will be telling his journey and his story tonight. So join in at 8 o'clock. Oh, yes. You got to check out Chris. And then after that will be Gwendolyn or Gwendolyn's before you. Gwen, Gwendolyn's before me. She's at 730. Okay. So it's me at 6. And then there's a space. And then there's Gwendolyn at 7. And then it's you at 8. 730. 730. 7.30. So seven, yeah. seven thirty. Okay, good. There and we eight. go. Eight, yeah. eight. There we go. We're all there. We're all on Indie Soup, and you can also see us on Roku. Okay, I think that's it, guys. Um, Anthony, I'm going to reach out to you because I need to put you on the schedule. <laughs> we are going to interview Anthony. He's an amazing photographer. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for joining us this week. Thank you for joining us on this, on this Focus Friday. I hope you uh, walk away with something smarter. You walk away smarter and more inspired. And uh, that's what this is all about. And I see the, all the happies. And, the, and if you like this, hit the like. Subscribe if you're here for the first time. And if you're in Instagram, make sure you come on over to the YouTube channel, which we have, Touch Base Daily. Just go to the search. And guys, I believe now. We're out of here. So guys, have a great weekend. Later.